What does enterprise private network mean to Telefonica? Like how significant is it and what exactly are you planning to accomplish with the rollout of enterprise private network? We are seeing a new wave of uh, transformation that is coming and it's it emerging at, the, at where we put together IoT, big data and artificial intelligence. Many new use cases that enable transformation to business at the end require uh, more sophisticated uh, capabilities in terms of connectivity and computing. Private 5G at the end of the day is not only the 5G in itself, but it's a whole end-to-end -end, uh, solution that brings together many new, de new devices generating data um, with, of course, the 5G connectivity, the computing platform to execute this, um, uh, this uh, value-added services. So today we can deliver um, some of them per client per year. But if we really believe uh, in the potential of what IoT, big data, and artificial intelligence can bring to customers, we need to really transform this sort of solutions. So in Telecom Info Project, we uh, bring a pretty diverse ecosystem of uh, best of the breed partners to incubate and a uh, broad range of use cases and requirements for solutions like Private 5G and these uh, vendors, system integrators, and mobile operators. Um, with a good alignment of Telefonica's business and technical requirements, we've um, defined a solution with automation and scale that can provide an immersive end-to-end -end user experience for a private 5G application uh, with three critical requirements, which are to do with simplicity, flexibility, and uh, security and uh, privacy. There you mentioned something which is uh, really important, which for me is um, how do we generate something so simple <laughs> of something which is so complex. For me, the private 5G space puts together a complex value chain where we need to work together, not only as a telco, we don't do it everything ourselves. We need to work uh, with vendors, with cloud providers, with uh, solution developers. In the past, we did this in for other solutions such as Open One, where we were able to collaborate as an industry and uh, in a very complex new value chain, see which would be the ideal role for telcos, for system integrators and from vendors. And we think that that same model is something that we can replicate again for the, for the private 5G space. On the three, three critical aspects of the solution, which is simplicity, um, it's all about trying to have um, a platform that can support the enterprise requirements um, with a very easy uh, zero touch provisioning um, approach where um, end users really don't see the end to end network savviness of the solution by leveraging the capabilities of an edge platform with a unified portal. The flexibility really comes with different ways of scaling these use cases across the different enterprise verticals. And that has completely got to do with very um, uh, simple frameworks of CI, CD and automation that is provided to completely shield the end user from the end-to-end -end automation that, happens, that occurs in the background. The other key aspect of the solution is about the security and compliance and privacy related data, where um, not all of the sensitive user data is being backhauled to the cloud, which is also a very, very critical aspect of a private 5G rollout that is on top of the list for enterprises as they roll it, roll it out in a much bigger, broader way. At the end of the day, when we think in, in private 5G, I think that the, the, the four main characteristics that are being demanded is use cases that require uh, um, much more strict um, latency requirements, so everything related to real-time applications. Um, the second thing is uh, applications which are really intensive in the use of bandwidth. And when we imagine everything related to computer vision and this type of use cases, um, that's something which is uh, really typical. Um, the third point is, um, as you said before, related to security, is how can we provide a more secure uh, connection to our users. And lastly, it's uh, data control, which is not only from the security angle, but also from the compliance of new uh, regulations related to where data is stored and processed having complete control on where the data of our clients uh, travel, where we have it and what we do with it. That's something which uh, today is, is really driving the demand for these use cases. The aspect of um, 5G and uh, private network um, that, is, that really brings to the table 
how um, applications that are latency sensitive can be centralized on the on-prem infrastructure on the enterprise, while other applications which really don't require the latency can still be uh, leveraging using the macro, macro network uh, rather than the enterprise private network. That for me is absolutely essential because at the end of the day, the key thing is how can we uh, how can we automate this uh, complex uh, pieces that we are putting together so that for a client receiving all the different pieces, they don't see it as uh, eight different components, but as a single end-to-end -end solution that come together in a seamless manner. And then the other component, which I think is also really required for our clients in this aspect is how can we scale the cost structure? Um, how can we scale down <laughs> the solution? So it's the, the, opposite, the opposite of what Telco usually concentrates on. And normally we are really worried on how things work when we have one million users. In this scenario, we need to work and making something that is really cost effective when we go into something that has not so many users. One of the thing, uh, unique aspects of the solution that we're providing is that um, the ability for the CICD automation to be um, scaling across different software components uh, from the different inter enterprise sites, independent of uh, the user uh, constraint or the number of users as, as a key uh, factor in how the automation of the different components across the edge platforms can be provided in order to support um, a connectivity and an application management platform with end-to-end -end lifecycle management. And that's what we are uh, attempting to provide in this end-to-end -end solution, incubating um, through this TIP trial and the collective work in the solution group with um, all the insights and the requirements from uh, Telefonica. Um, and, and certainly, as we look at this holistically, um, we're also looking at all the other use cases that need to be folded in with, into the solution to make it more um, a plug and play when it comes to any other use cases or any other verticals. Um, and with all the diverse set of partners and the requirements, including the equipment and the software providers bringing to TIP, that's the, that, the unique ability that TIP has in incubating and take, moving the needle forward on private network deployments. Thank you.